After your children are taken from you, you have the right to a detention hearing, which is held in the juvenile court in every county in California. At that detention hearing, the judge decides not whether you're guilty or not. The judge just decides what should we do with the case temporarily. The petition is saying that the state of California needs to take legal custody of the children and take the ch children's custody away from you because of this abuse. So we deny the petition. And then a trial is set. What happens at the detention hearing is where do the children stay pending the trial, which could be one or two months away. The court presumes at this time that you likely did it, unfortunately. And so often, the parents are only given monitored visitation with their children. Fortunately, if you have a family member that has no criminal record, often we can have the children released to your family member and you can see them more frequently. But if you don't have a close family member, you will literally only see your children one or two hours a week in a foster parent's home. After the detention hearing, your lawyer will work very hard to do everything they can to prepare for what's called the jurisdictional hearing. The juris jurisdictional hearing is just another word for the trial. At the trial, you obviously have the right to a lawyer. The county will have a lawyer. They're going to be advocating that the petition be sustained. If the petition is sustained by the judge, it means the judge believes you abused your child. The burden is on the social worker's lawyer, the county counsel, to prove by 51% of the evidence in the judge's mind that you did abuse the child. If the judge finds you abused your child, it goes to what's the next stage called the disposition hearing. The good news, if the judge finds that you didn't abuse your child, the case is dismissed and you get your children back immediately. If the court finds you abused your child, then there will be a service plan and they'll say, you have to go to this kind of therapy. You have to see this. You might have to be in drug counseling. You might have to be in alcohol counseling. You have to see the social worker many times. Then you come back after six months, and if you completed the service plan, the court has the discretion to release the children to you. But very often, the social workers will say, no, I think they need six more months. All this time, your children can be in foster care. They could be placed in another family. It is massively disruptive. In some cases, you can lose parental rights. And that is if the judge finds, for example, you physically abused your child that caused the child serious injury, the court can set what's called a permanency planning hearing, and you could have your children adopted and taken from you. When you hire Wallen and Clarich, and you're facing the loss of your children, we take the case as if they were our children. And what would we want to have someone represent us if they were taking our children away? We aggressively prepare. We call witnesses that are necessarily called. Sometimes we have our clients undergo a psychological evaluation to show the court they don't fit the profile of someone that would do such a horrible thing. Often we get our clients into therapy if something might have happened. So by the time of the trial, we're ready to do everything possible to get your children back.